Yo, 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 what's up, my guys? Yeah, Jenny was say the wait is finally over. Yeah, and Capuchin TV brings you exciting news for the youth this year 2024 with a youth program called Form Ni Faith. <laughs> In this particular program, we will be bringing you Bible trivias. We have discussions. We have talent show for those ones who love to showcase their talents, like singing. I do what I can, what I can, what I can for my people. Modeling, oral narratives, spoken words. Hey, stop talking while I'm talking. Nataka could you express at least need to stress, even if I can smile. It's only for a while. Yesu anakudai. That's why he accepted to die on the cross. To remove your die. Lemma and to give you a new die. Erection. Catches on every Wednesday from 2 to 3 p.m. Only at Capuchin TV. You can also get the repeaters every Wednesday from 7 p.m. Again, only on Capuchin TV. And remember, if you would love us to come and cover your event, you can contact us on 0717-424-866. Form new faith with your favorite host, Maureen Kimani. And I, Maggie Maina. Come, come all to enjoy in Christ. In Christ. Yo, 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 what's up, my guys? Yeah, Jenny was say the wait is finally over. Yeah, and Capuchin TV brings you exciting news for the youth this year 2024 with a youth program called Form Ni Faith. <laughs> In this particular program, we will be bringing you Bible trivias. We have discussions. We have talent show for those ones who love to showcase their talents, like singing. I do what I can, what I can, what I can for my people. people Modeling, oral narratives, spoken words. Hey, stop talking while I'm talking. Nataka could you express at least need to stress, even if I can smile. It's only for a while. Yesu anakudai. That's why he accepted to die on the cross. To remove your die. Lemma and to give you a new die. Erection. Catches on every Wednesday from 2 to 3 p.m. Only at Capuchin TV. You can also get the repeaters every Wednesday from 7 p.m. Again, only on Capuchin TV. And remember, if you would love us to come and cover your event, you can contact us on 0717-424-866. Form new faith with your favorite host, Maureen Kimani. And I, Maggie Maina. Come, come all to enjoy in Christ. In Christ. Afternoon to you all. God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good, and that is His nature. Wow. So, my name is Maureen Kimani, and today we are very delighted on behalf of Capuchin TV Fraternity to bring you this uh, youth program called Fall Faith Me. Form new faith. Exactly, form new faith. Uh, that is uh, with me, uh, Maureen Kimani, and joining me, we have uh, our guest here today. And they will be introducing themselves in just a few and not forgetting my co host, Pierre Ataweza Kujitambulisha. And in case you'd love us to come and do something in your parish, in your church, you can always do that on 0717 866, or you can use our SMS number that is 21760. Not forgetting, the youth in our society are very important because they play a very vital role in our society today because we know they are the future of tomorrow and sometimes they say the youth are the future of today and so welcome to the conversation and I hope you're going to enjoy. 
Indeed, thank you so much, Maureen. So this is from Faith Karibuni Sana. And just to say, this is a sh this is a show by the youth and for the youth. Therefore, our guests today are young people from our parishes, from our deaneries, and from our uh, dioceses. Therefore, I'm going to start with my father, right? That is um, Collins. He can just introduce himself, tell us where he's from, which parish he's from, the, di the deanery, the diocese, and what he's doing in life. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Maggie and Maureen. Thank you. I'm Collins Amenya. Uh, a vibrant young man, <laughs> as I know. <laughs> okay. so I am from uh, Eastern Denary, a parish known as St. Mary's Mihango, and I'm at the Diocese of Nairobi Diocese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So at the moment, I am a student uh, at the Kenya Methodist University in my final, the fourth year, uh, pursuing uh, information science bachelor's degree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, thank you very much for that introduction. It's good to have you here, thank and you. thank you for making time. Thank you. Yeah, moving on to a beautiful lady. <laughs> you say hi to our people. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Amy Wanjiro Kaburu. I come from St. Ignatius Catholic Church, Olekasasi, uh, from the Ngong Diocese, Kiserian Dinari. Uh, currently, I recently graduated from Kenya Medical Training College. I am a nurse and I'm very delighted to be here. Wow. Thank you. Wow, thank you, Karibu Sana. Yes, least uh, last person. God is good. Yeah. My name is David Jackson. I come from Kikuyu Dinari, St. Charles Luanga Parish. I just finished my form for last year. Wow, <laughs> yeah. okay. Uh -huh. And I'm an artist and a creative designer. Uh -huh. That's what I usually do. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's how I spend my time, yeah. All right. Uh, and of course, I'm sure our viewers can be able to see on your side, you have uh, something on the table, and uh, maybe you can tell us what you're going to be doing uh, during the show. Well, this, this is paint. <laughs> uh -huh. And uh, I'll be painting something, but then that will be a surprise for later. I'm not going to say exactly what it is. Uh -huh. yeah. So they'll be able to see it later after, uh, as we wind up on our show. Yes. All right, thank you very much uh, for, for making time and Karibuni Sana. It's good to have you here and to have this conversation mm -hmm. about our youth, yeah. to showcase your talent, you know, what you do, and of course to advise and give uh, the young people watching you out there some advices and hope in the future. Because we've seen we have a nurse in the studio. Wow, congratulations, by the way, and looking forward to you pursuing something in future to do with artistic. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, Maggie, I think you can take over from there. For sure. Thank you so much, Maureen. So, we will start with David. Maybe you can tell us your journey as a youth. How has it been? How has the youth uh, group helped nurture your talent as an artist? And how do you find being a youth within the Catholic Church? Well, for me, okay, I, I won't say the journey has been really smooth, but <laughs> since I'm in school, I was in school and back, in school and back. But when I I used to come for the holidays when we had activities at church. Maybe we were preparing for Christmas or Easter or something, you know. The church is decorated. I would be called to help out. They would let me <laughs> tell them what I know, tell them this, this does not look so good. Yeah, and it has been very encouraging for me. I've also got to learn things here and there and also improve my skills as an artist. That is so good, David. So the yeah. church has actually helped nurture your talent as an artist, yes, and particularly the youth group. Yes. Thank you so much. Moving on to Amy, how has it been being at an artist, um, having this particular talent, being in the youth group, um, uh, you know, uh, being part of a church that actually helps you nurture your talent? How has it been? Uh, thank you, Maggie. Uh, for me, uh, I think it's, al it's almost the same case as him. I was not so much around, but any time I get a, an opportunity to come back home, I would engage in the activities in the church. Uh, our church has a platform where you can showcase your talents. I also participate in the youth choir <laughs> at times. So it's, it has really helped me then gain that confidence to sing in front of people, because at times, <laughs> the stretch <laughs> fight really yeah. got to me. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I think the church really helped me. Uh -huh. Yeah. And it still is helping you yes. up to date. Yes. Okay, all right. Uh huh. Yeah, moving on. Uh, well, being a spoken artist, I can say the church has really helped me 
are creating numerous platforms uh, whenever there is a show or maybe they need something uh, to us a specific topic to be talked uh, about uh, I'll, I'll always be called because I was always available and I'm still available so you find that through these um, interactions I'm, I'm able to build myself more and more I'm able to do and I, I, in various aspects because mm-hmm. different different topics will come with different kind of lines how to in, make it interactive how to make it you know ishike kabisa and opate message yeah mm-hmm. yeah all right uh, and maybe you can uh, uh, share some success stories about what have been what you've been up to from your parish especially for the uh, david uh, uh, maybe if we come to visit your church, we can be able to see some of the paintings that you've done. <laughs> can we? No, generally. <laughs> not yet. You're looking forward to that. No, in church, uh-huh. uh, I didn't do mostly painting. As I said, I'm also a creative designer. Okay. So the aspect of me, the nurtured, is uh-huh. the designing aspect. Uh-huh. Yeah, because now when it comes to arranging the decorations, I mean, if we are to do put balloons and all those decorations for mm-hmm. Christmas, mm-hmm. they won't be there till now. Okay. <laughs> they have to change. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Uh-huh. But they have, they have really helped me grow. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Awesome, awesome. And I don't know if for you, uh, Amy, you have uh, some success uh, stories you'd love to share with our viewers and uh, maybe how you feel being part of the youth because there are some people out there and uh, maybe they don't see the importance of joining the youth group. So what advice would you love to share with them? And uh, maybe from whatever you've experienced and maybe the uh, nurturing that you've experienced from the parish priest to your parents, to your friends. Um, I'd like to tell, to advise the young people to actually assimilate themselves in the church. Because mm-hmm. it's really nice when you have people of your age group encouraging you, being there for you when you they push you to pursue your talent. They even help you if you feel like there's something you want to do, they will be there. They will hold your hand through it all. Even my parents actually, they really encourage me during all this. Even some of them come <laughs> to see me during those days when I actually perform. Wow. So I think it's nice when young people come to the church. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Really okay. All right. So maybe for Collins, I understand that you are a leader in your parish. If you can tell us the position that you hold among the youth, and then afterwards you can actually explain to us what are some of the initiatives that young people undertake in your parish, especially um, initi- initiatives that help them nurture their talents. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I I am a voice moderator at my parish. And being a leader, right there, you know, it's always nice to set an example yeah. to your youths. Mm-hmm. Uh, at our parish, we normally have. Okay, I believe also all the churches do have do have calendar of events, so we have specific uh, parish events that we do hold mm-hmm. for the for, for our youths to showcase their talents, yeah. other dancing, mm-hmm. spoken word, yeah. you know, because I believe. Youths are very, very uh, active. Mm-hmm. Uh, youths are very active, and it is always it, it is always nice having them around because you, f- from that aspect you'll know that they really, really know a lot. Yeah. Apart from just board games, in those uh, board games you, you, you'll find that there are other specific talents that are very, very interesting. Yeah. Very uh-huh. interesting. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, nice. that is so encouraging actually. And maybe you can tell us um, wh- what's the farthest avenue that you have had to showcase your talent, be it at the festivals, be it in, during the talent showcases, the talent, sh- uh, talent shows within your parishes and dinary. What's the farthest that you have actually reached? Well, uh, I, do, I do spoken word, I can say it in, in three perspectives. Yes. So the first one is the competitive one. Mm-hmm. So for the competitive one, uh, since I started it in, okay, the first time I did Spoken Word was back in high school. Okay. In 2019, during my Form 4, where we managed to scoop the national level. Oh, nice. Uh, to, to the national <laughs> level. Uh, then for the, the second one was uh, during the ADN. Uh, competi- uh, competitions mm-hmm. uh, uh, from the binary to zonal to yeah. the ADN at the last uh, the last uh, the last level yes 
then the second perspective I'd like to take, uh, to take it as that hobby that I have. Mm-hmm. You know. Pale uh, nyumbani unakanga hivi kichini kiasi unasikia mbweka kadhaa kanakuja unarosha ya kwanza. Na na kunywa chai na humo mandazi narudi kanyenye kanaingia. Yeah so 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 it it, it is always nice when um that it, uh, that uh, interactivity I have with myself yeah. so, you know it, it, it helps me build myself too. yeah yeah so, and uh, the other one is now can i say it as as, as a contract mm-hmm. okay because okay. Uh, you find somebody come and say uh, comes uh, approaches me and say that hey anataka spoken word kuhusu ndakupatia mpo wa wangu like now you're looking forward to Valentine's <laughs> exactly. Day next week Valentine's is around uh-huh. the corner yeah inbox me the <laughs> 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 <Okay>. uh-huh. <laughs> yeah so um unapata unapata anambia eh nataka spoken word uh, this is uh, nataka ikuwe how this long yeah. naweza performia ama naweza mpatia mm-hmm. uh, so, so prior to that event and anataka uh-huh. ana perform Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So okay. uh, apart from the not, not only for individuals but mm-hmm. also at a group church uh, previously I was invited by CWA talking about the dress code mm-hmm. because when it comes to religious matters it's always nice to have the uh, the, the decent, right yeah. uh, decent okay. mm-hmm. uh, dress code when you mm-hmm. come to to the church. Mm-hmm. So uh it that diff- So mm-hmm. but I like to uh, broad them into to branch them into those three perspectives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. It's a, okay, that's very interesting and by the way we're looking forward during our Capuchin TV anniversary you can make something about Capuchin since like you've been here today. I'm very ready. Okay. All right. Uh, and now I, I remember when we began um, David talked about uh, being a youth uh, there has been some challenges here and there. I don't know if Amy you can be able to uh, point out some of the few challenges that you encounter as a youth group and how do you overcome those challenges? Thank you. Um I think the biggest what I'd say is the biggest challenge we have is at times there are these times when people don't really take seriously the youth group. They think that when we come together we are not really serious, we're mm-hmm. not really doing anything productive. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. So um I would like to say um when you see us together, there are actual challenges we are going through that we sit down and talk about and we will actually encourage most of those grown people within our church to like for example when it comes to planning events uh, we we raise fundraisers or something like that so that they can also chip in and help us okay. towards our set goal okay. yeah um other challenges are like there's also the discrimination that comes with uh, being together is they say that you are young people you can't have a voice mm-hmm. you're not allowed to talk in mm-hmm. such <laughs> in, in meeting okay. you see mm-hmm. so even having youth representatives is really nice because there's someone there you know is going to fight for you mm-hmm. yeah all mm-hmm. right nice. I, i don't know if for you david you experienced the same thing mm-hmm. with uh, whatever amy has been able to talk about that for me i've not been in the leadership mm-hmm. yet that much but i think it's a really really nice thing when now for example like the church now the way we have the youth leaders and uh, the the categories go ranking up we have like he said is a vice moderator mm-hmm. then the moderator then the other ones who are representing us in the diocese so yeah. meaning mm-hmm. if we have an idea if we have an issue we have to address we know that it it can even reach the cardinal for sure okay. yeah mm-hmm. uh, and like if we are just you know the youth mm-hmm. yeah that's it the youth <laughs> and it ends at the church level okay. so i think it's really nice that we are being involved yeah. in uh, decision making because yeah. maybe some decisions uh, how can i say it uh maybe the the other cma cwa they go and have a meeting and then they decide this is what we are going to be doing in church and maybe you know to disadvantage as yeah. the youth to mm-hmm. some point mm-hmm. But now we don't have that because we have people representing us who will say no we have an issue with that let's change it a little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Just, uh, okay. Uh-huh. But, uh, for past, just to add on on, on that sure, you sure. know. Mm-hmm. It's it, it's always nice because uh to have the the leaders, you know. 
we find that most of the times uh, the elders, mm-hmm. maybe let's say from around 40 there, mm-hmm. so, 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 so we find that uh, whatever kind of challenges our youths are mm-hmm. talking as a leader, uh, it's always nice to have the leaders for, for the youths eh? mm-hmm. so that they can act like a bridge. Yes. Because for you to be a leader, definitely, they, 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 they found that at least you can, you, you can be in that position mm-hmm. to maybe talk to our, our elders, yeah. talk to the parish priest mm-hmm. or, or even uh, maybe the, those who are higher mm-hmm. religiously mm-hmm. in, in ranking. Yeah. So the leaders being there, they act as bridges so that if the way we understand the, the, the issues from down there, we can come and express it here and say like, Father, Mm-hmm. Hindu issue for the uh, to to mm-hmm. so because uh, in as a court patani uh, our ideas are not are, are, are not the same yeah they don't are, are not in line mm-hmm. so how can we go about this mm-hmm. personally I feel this and this and you, you know, so it's like a debate and once we come to a to, to, to an agreement it's it's always easier to convince also the youth mm-hmm. and the father and the, I mean the, uh, the other end too yeah. Okay. yeah, that's All so right. good. Okay. Yeah, so I would just love to go back to David. I'm seeing mm-hmm. that he's so busy holding that paintbrush <laughs> and doing, you know, doing his thing on that paper. And he said it's a surprise. I'm hoping it's something to do with Valentine's. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, or even Ash Wednesday, uh-huh. or even Ash, Ash Wednesday, actually, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So, um, David, I would just love for you to explain to us. And of course, it, you can even, I think, Maureen, we now need to speak Ile Lugaya, my youth, Ile Lugaya, Watu, when you tuna, tuna, when you tuna, Yeah. To get Shembeting or a mixture of Swahili and English. Mm-hmm. So maybe, David, Uneza Tuambia, social media, Ineza Saidiaje, my youth, Kugro talent, Yao, Kunacha talent, Yao. Ah, uh, they were from my point of view. Mm-hmm. Social media is a very good platform mm-hmm. for people who have talents to be able to showcase them and not just to at it neighbor uh-huh. na church. <laughs> <alafu>. okay. <laughs> like now in social media everyone is watching. Yeah. If we have to say you post your thing on Instagram and so on. So I think it's what what now people don't do is uh, putting themselves out there. Okay. You know, you you are just like so kuna hii artwork nimechora ha acha nita post kesho kesho ikifika eh watu watasema nini acha ikae unaona and then also uh, a key thing is that it's also consistency it's not that at you post once and now everybody knows you mm-hmm. i mean you'll post once and and then you post again and again and again and maybe not the best piece do it kufikisha where you want to yes. be but your consistency as they say it's due at the alg- algorithms or whatever mm-hmm. the more you post yeah. the more like the social media platforms zina kutafutia a niche like mm-hmm. section yako so meaning kama una post kusu vitu za dressing dressing the more you post w- they see the reaction of your audience mm-hmm. and then they are able to request you to audience who would like the same stuff and then you're able to get exposure. And like uh, most people, if they are searching for talent, not unless, oh, I know a family member, and I'm connect. Mm. If they don't, Connection uh, <laughs> if they don't, they go to social media. Yeah. Like uh, maybe the stories you hear about some musicians, you say, you see? Yeah, so some musicians, they just started by, I don't know, doing freestyles in a car. For sure. And then somebody's like, Mm. this is actually talent mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden uh, they are the ones making bangers for us oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure okay. yeah for so sure. i i think what i'd say or encourage the youth to do is uh to put themselves out there like mm. put your pride away put your shame away you do what you like okay. i mean you might say people won't like it but not everyone won't like it okay. so you do your best and god shall Working mysteriously. Nice. Amen. <laughs> amen, amen. And I'm yeah. loving that he's used that example. Yeah, um, you know, some artists started singing in their cars because I'm very sure that 
within uki scroll social media no nanga watu wanasema ngati some artists started singing in the bathroom yeah. while taking a shower yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. and that's how they came up with the best yeah. choruses mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. yeah so maybe back to Amy maybe you can tell us how um youth can use their creativity to drive positive change in the community like for instance you are a singer how do you think your singing can help create positive change within the community okay thank you uh huh okay <laughs> 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 uh, kwa singing yes. the music it also depends on what you're singing about it has to have a message because sana jua sikuizi kuna different genres of song music utanga mtu atanimba unasikiza unashanga so yeah you have to also have a message that you're conveying through your music and there are very different ways of actually creating positive change through your talents like for david it's his drawings it has something he's mm-hmm. trying to communicate to us for collins it's his spoken word yeah. you see <coughs> So I think as the youth if you nurture your talent and you actually discover it in the first place kuna tunuliza nga talent yako yenye atsema tatu yeah so when you discover your talent and nurture it uh-huh. you can use it to actually do good uh-huh. and uh, try really try as a youth to to have a message a good message try uh-huh. to get it out into the world so that they can hear it. Okay. Yeah. I love uh, the way you say it because I remember some few days ago I asked my cousin, what is your talent? And then she was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you going to try and find out until maybe you have these kind of exposures yeah. and maybe inter- through interaction that's when you get to realize by they I can draw, you know, I can sing, I can, you know, rap and do the spoken word, all that kind of thing. And I remember you all talked about a CWA group, CMA group cause I know between the age of 18 and above that's when you can be able to join a CMA. Kuna mtu hapa kona experience. Ama you looking you're looking forward to joining because you've been mentioning uh, I've been listening by mm-hmm. the way. <laughs> so kuna naona Amy ana cheka sana. <laughs> Not yet. Uh-huh. Yes for you. Collins. <laughs> Maybe okay maybe kwa ngo tu maybe interaction yangu tu <laughs> hey Collins tunataka kuhusu siasa kwa kanisa uh-huh. bas uh-huh. nothing more than that but uh, it's it's always nice because they do recognize us yeah. uh-huh. there is one one positive aspect of them so uh-huh. for, for for us for us is to make sure okay for uh, I believe in the talent bit of it uh nurturing yourself will begin by self actualization mm-hmm. so you first know yourself that uh, yes this is what i can do this is what i can do and if you're not sure then you can come later on and say that uh, or, or maybe get, get get a friend uh, for me personally then ilianza nilianza niki nikijaribu kuandika mistari za ngoma 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 eh nikijanga ngo eh bro hii acha hii si hii ni siasa acha siasa so so in that line ndio nikapata rafiki yangu akanambia eh kolo uko poa na kuandika kuandika mistari so naweza jaribu spoken word and from that uh, from that point ndio nikapata nikajua yeah when nikiandika spoken word it's much more uh, easier for me to to write and also perform because mm-hmm. kuna wale utaandikia okay eh, kuna wale haizi andika lakini ku perform anaweza perform yeah, true. kuna wale uta anaweza anaweza andika but haizi perform but for me na feel at least naweza andika mm-hmm. and perform okay yeah. awesome mm-hmm. and i don't know if magi you have something to talk about before we take a very short break yeah i just wanted to maybe ask our guest today what are some of these things that hinder our youths from joining the church groups especially the young the young uh, christian adults the youth serving christ the mym what are some of these uh, challenges that maybe make the youths af- be afraid of joining these particular groups within the parishes maybe you can start with amy um Uh, as from from my church i saw that most of the people don't really like to join youth they say uh well all of you know uh, our meetings are always after church when you know haraka wanasema ah si using but tenda mpige story sana you see wala fikirianga most of the time ati ni kupatana tu kupiga story with no 
agendas. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> uh -huh. I think our <laughs> Jewish, <laughs> they are missing out a lot. Eh? Yeah, they are actually, ah. yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I would urge them to come because it's really nice having uh -huh. people. <laughs> nah, okay, what was the thing? But Kwetuni Hio Sana, they think that if they join a group, they're going to be forced to do things okay. that they don't want to do. Lafukunana na samanga, mi spenangi kukua kwa group, natakanga tukukua piki yangu, mi na kujanga to church. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you okay. see. Okay. Uh, okay. And sometimes, like, uh, it's good to join these groups because uh, they build you, you experience, you explore, you get to mm -hmm. learn different things. Yeah. Uh, especially for those ones who have just done maybe, uh, like, class eight. Mm -hmm. I mean, or even form four, and they want to maybe choose a career mm -hmm. in future. Yeah. So they, that's why they get direction and sure. they interact with these people mm -hmm. so um i think with that we're going to take a very short break but when we come back we shall have more of you know yeah. performances yes. from amy and colleagues maybe because we've been talking about spoken word you know singing yeah. we'd love to hear your voices definitely <laughs> and i'm sure our viewers are curious mm -hmm. to hear from you so uh stay tuned for that we'll be right back in just a few Yo, 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 what's up, my guys? Yeah, Jenny was say the wait is finally over. Yeah, and Capuchin TV brings you exciting news for the youth this year 2024 with a youth program called Form Ni Faith. <laughs> In this particular program, we will be bringing you Bible trivias. We have discussions. We have talent show for those ones who love to showcase their talents, like singing. I do what I can, what I can, what I can for my people. people Modeling, oral narratives, spoken words. Hey, stop talking while I'm talking. Not that I could express, at least need to stress. Even if I can smile, it's only for a while. Yesu anakudai, that's why he accepted to die on the cross to remove your die, lemma, and to give you a new die, reaction. Catches on every Wednesday from 2 to 3 p.m. only at Capuchin TV. You can also get the repeat shows every Wednesday from 7 p.m. again only on Capuchin TV. And remember, if you would love us to come and cover your event, you can contact us on 0717-424-866. Form new faith with your favorite host, Maureen Kimani. And I, Maggie Maina. Come, come all to enjoy in Christ. In Christ. palabras que cuando algunos hablan de enfermedades terminales las confunden incurable e incuidable y no son lo mismo incluso cuando existan muy pocas posibilidades de curación todos los enfermos tienen derecho al acompañamiento médico al acompañamiento psicológico al acompañamiento espiritual, al acompañamiento humano. A veces no pueden hablar, a veces pensamos que no nos conocen, pero si le tomamos la mano, entendemos que están en sintonía. No siempre se consigue la curación, pero siempre podemos cuidar al enfermo, acariciar al enfermo. San Juan Pablo II decía que curar sí es posible, cuidar siempre. Y aquí es donde entran los cuidados paliativos que garantizan al paciente no solo la atención médica, sino también un acompañamiento humano y cercano. Las familias no pueden quedarse solas en esos momentos difíciles. Su papel es decisivo. Tienen que tener los medios adecuados para desarrollar 
el apoyo físico, el apoyo espiritual, el apoyo social. Oremos para que los enfermos terminales y sus familias reciban siempre los cuidados y el acompañamiento necesarios, tanto desde el punto de vista médico como humano. wadugu wa jikwangu wala msiwazuie kwa maana kama hao ufalme wa binguni ni wao madhayo 19 mstari wa 14 kila mwaka watoto wa kimisionari katika kanisa katoliki ama PMC na walizi wao katika jimbo kuu katoliki la Nairobi hukutana kwa ajili ya misa yao ya kila mwaka mwaka huu Misa hii itafanyika Jumamosi tarehe kumi Februari katika uwanja wa Msongari Westlands Nairobi kuanzia saa 4 asubuhi. Katika misa hiyo kutakuwa na uzinduzi wa mada kuu ya mwaka huu pamoja kwa sala. Ibada ya misa itaongozwa na askofu mkuu Filipa Nyolo wa Jimbo Kuu la Nairobi na itapeperushwa moja kwa moja kwenye runinga yako uipendayo ya Capuchin TV pamoja na mitandao yetu ya kijamii. Capuchin TV inaombea watoto wa kimisionari ili Mungu aendelee kuwalinda na kuwatunza. Endelea kutazama Capuchin TV kitambulisho katoliki. guys yeah Jenny was say the wait is finally over yeah and Capuchin TV brings you exciting news for the youth this year 2024 with a youth program called Form Ni Faith <laughs> In this particular program we will be bringing you Bible trivias. We have discussions. We have talent show for those ones who love to showcase their talents like singing. I do what I can, what I can, what I can for my people. people Modeling, oral narratives, spoken words. Hey stop talking while I'm talking. Nataka kuji express at least need to express even if I can smile. It's only for a while. Yesu anakudai, that's why he accepted to die on the cross to remove your die, lemma and to give you a new die. Rection. Catches on every Wednesday from 2 to 3 p.m. only at Capuchin TV. You can also get the repeats every Wednesday from 7 p.m. again only on Capuchin TV. And remember, if you would love us to come and cover your event, you can contact us on 0717-424-866. From New Faith, Faith, with your favorite host, Maureen Kimani. And I, Maggie Maina. Come, come all to, to join in, in Christ. Christ. and then scattered in mercy gathered mended and whole 
empty handed, but not forsaken. I've been set free, I've been set free. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Oh, I once was lost, but now I am found. Was blind, but now I see. Oh, I can see you now. Oh, I can see the love in your eyes. Laying yourself down. Raising up the broken to Amazing. That is so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. I think Maureen Mima will give her a 12 out of 10. Miss uh June -huh. <laughs> is I'm written. First of all, before we come to the ratings, yeah. let us welcome our viewers. Uh, yeah, welcome for sure. back to those ones who are joining us right now. This is our family faith with Maureen Kimani and Maggie. And of course, in the studio, we have uh, some beautiful and uh, handsome gentlemen here in our studio and of course we've been able to hear a very beautiful performance when i say my sauti na mtu wa nyoka pangoni that was the experience and now i think we can do about the rating <laughs> uh, let's start with collins magi said 12 i said 12 out of 10 uh, out okay. of 10 sema uh noma -huh. <laughs> <laughs> noma sema sana. Nguri. <laughs> nguri sana for me i'd give it a 15 out of Okay. Wow. It's, 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 uh -huh. the, the, the voice is so uh -huh. mm. Mm -hmm. melodious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> okay, yes. We have a I mean, <laughs> honestly, I think you deserve a Grammy or something. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Thank level, you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yes, Maggie, take us through. Yeah, so mm -hmm. thank you so much. You haven't treated her, by the way. Oh, I think I would give her like a hundred. A hundred out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> ten out of ten. But well, that was so beautiful. True. Thank you yeah. so much, Thank Amy. You. So maybe you can help us. Maybe you can tell us how music or rather art can help youth connect with their emotions. Because I could see that you had emotions in mm -hmm. your eyes while you were singing. Yeah. There was the rising and falling intonations and that is just a symbol of, you know, emotion. So you can help, uh, help us understand how um, youth can actually connect to the emotions more through art. Um, let's start by saying, personally, mm -hmm. me, I really like singing. Uh, I stress, I listen to music. It really helps me deal with my emotions that build up mm -hmm. so I think if you have uh, you know your art it should be a channel through which you show you show how you are feeling yourself how you are going to as in deal with the things inside you so um, but that was so beautiful, baby. Was. I think we should be having you very often here and do, you know, a freestyle and all that kind of performance. Mm -hmm. I'm sure to keep talking up, but the time to not talk, I wish I put um to a Valentine. Kolo is so ready. I think. Okay. Anyway. Uh, I think you can tell us uh, how has your journey, you know, in uh, singing been, uh, and what inspired you to 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 become, you know, just to love music? Cause is it because your mom loves singing? Ama because niwale watu? Oh, I was in the shower. Nika Yeah, please uh, share your journey. Um, I think I have been singing since I was in primary school. Kifunga uh Shule, -huh. we had those presentations so I would participate in them and I found I really liked it okay. and it was and it was really nice uh, like singing so uh, what really inspired me to start singing 
uh, was my mom. My mom really sings as well. And also my grandmother, she's in the choir. Yeah. <laughs> she's also in the choir. So we'd sit at home and Anita kujan kufunza kawimbo. Ivo. So ningekanga na yeye. It was how we like bonded with her. So it was uh, like a stepping stone to me singing. So um I think that's the whole story. And then in high school, I did a few things. But in high school, I was not really active in the music area. Okay. I'll we'll come to a games. Oh. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, and then through a uh, college period, I'd sing in church. We, I, I used to have like a group at church. We used to perform once in a while. We used to call ourselves African Voices. Nice. Uh -huh. Yeah, we do. But we did once. It was like cover songs uh, for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but and up until now, I just love singing, honestly. Oh. <laughs> it's really calming, actually. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And do you sing from, uh, you know, songs in the church? Uh, it's been long. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mostly in church, maybe performing, but not some, so maybe. Mm -hmm. It's been really long since I sang sang oh. songs. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. All right. Awesome. And, um, I know we are going to interact with you more, and I don't know if our viewers are, are just curious to hear what Collins uh, has to say, because uh, we can see he's ready to take you even on a date. Very <laughs> ready. Let's see if he's ready. He can prove by himself, you know, right Mr. on that. Mr. Okay. Mr. Okay. Ready. <laughs> okay. Um, then uh, just to, uh, as we give um, David time to continue doing his art, uh, you know, work. And because he said it, it's a surprise for all of us. Mm -hmm. I don't know if our viewers can be able to see what he's drawing. I'm very curious. I'm like, I just feel like going to peep there. Yeah. I think our viewers doing. can see. Uh -huh. We can are the only ones who show. can see because okay. <laughs> yeah. I think we'll have to prove our patience. So, you know? For sure, yeah. for sure. Okay, but now I think we can pave way to uh Collins and you can just do your freestyle. We'd love to hear your voice. Sante. Karibu. So now you Valentine season and this season you more pins, yeah see you. But definitely kila mtu ako na mpo na pe mimi niko na mpo wangu anaitwa OG one god you see one god the same god mwenye in the unity of trinity aliumba everything in perfect quality and quantity and in make me me hapa ndio mwana leo anaitwa kanali yule wa mistari and i'm reaching lines unaweza niita mistari lionel and you can make sure you stories in men. You see the same God mwenye aliumba dunia, the same God mwenye aliniweka from the first mpaka the last December, the same man mwenye aliumba mwenye alituma the uh, his his only begotten son, the savior man to save me from all the pleasures and the lust of this world. It's, and this is the kind of love, the kind of love that always gets me on my knees and say, Father, please, I know, I know, I know I'm not worthy to host you, but kindly shelter under my roof because only a few words from you can get my soul healed. It's the kind of love that makes me laugh sheepishly that, yes, I'm a human being, but cohere relationship, I'm just a sheep, and yes, I flop. Not once, not twice, but many times. But any time when I, when I got lost, my shepherd will always bring me back to the flock. The same kind of love that reminds me, no matter how weak I am, I can still move the mountains. Even the rock can make a fountain. That reminds me to appreciate the, the little march on my plate, to appreciate the works of my maker. That I mean, it was uh, I mean, it was Asia corner the, from the sunrise to the sunset. The same kind of love that reminds me, no matter how so I am, not even the ticks on my shoes can lead me to the right path if it's not for your words that they light up my pathway. And through your will, there is always a way. And this is the kind of love. The kind of love that surpasses all kind, uh, all forms of affection. The kind of love that is unconditionally 
anaitwa Kanan this is the kind of love hey 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 what eh okay I loved the atmosphere. It was so smooth and amazing. I think we should be having uh, the Bible verse in terms of uh, spoken <laughs> word. Oh, for sure. <laughs> we can, I, I gladly do it. You I can do that. On the same Genesis, Paul, chapter 1, verse 1. It would be amazing. I don't know uh, what you have to say, Maggie, about... He has just word. taken me back to to um, the book of the Songs of Solomon because it started with um, Martha's love, Martha's yeah. Valentine's. Mm -hmm. Kumbe, he was talking about God's love exactly. and that is what about. <laughs> OG. That's, it, exactly, OG. Mm -hmm. And that's what uh, what the book of uh, the Songs of Solomon is all about, God's mm -hmm. love and how he portrays it to us. So that was so beautiful, Collins. Na ningependa tu utuambie ulianzia ulianzia spoken word when? Na what made you actually pursue spoken word as an art? Okay. Uh, spoken word in Lanza 2019, but way before, you see that th th those free lessons in the Mkumadi or a model of Mao. Yeah, so uh, you find that, uh, yes, to a discussion, maybe Kunazila to come to Gusecha Maliza, so no pata, you have this free time. If you tell us, you can't get a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little kama of a little bit 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 of a Mm -hmm. in a, a, a click beer. Mm -hmm. So through the Mekwaniki Nikifanya, then the Maliza from 4, 2019, uh, Nikanja Kuifa, Narudu, Narik, Kapit, an express your feeling, mm -hmm. you know, because any, any form of art, any form of uh, the way she sings, because in my local dialect, somebody sang and said, that music ni dawa. Mm -hmm. So through music, you can write the way you feel, express those, uh, the way you feel in, uh, in writing mm -hmm. and all that. Yeah. That is so good. And, 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 and mm -hmm. uh, ca ca coming through, uh, mm -hmm. uh, at least, at least, at least, at least, so that is why it is easier for me to, to write, mm -hmm. for to, to dedicate one or two to somebody, before I think Magi is something I want to read some uh, actually some few comments are from our viewers. Okay. We have Teresia and Jerry. Uh, tuned uh, from Nativity of our Lord Kagwe Parish. Thanks for caring for our for our youth. I'm proud of Capuchin TV, my number one station. Oh, that's so kind. Thank you, Marcy. I mean, Teresia. And then we have Marcy Kemboi. She said uh, following. We have Junior Kafesha uh, following too. And uh, we have... Uh, uh, what's the name? Kijana Yanakuru. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Uh, those are just some of the few reactions that you're getting and mm -hmm. they're appreciating your good work. And congratulations and looking forward to some, you know, different and amazing stuff in future. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, Maggie. I wanted to just ask Kolo where he draws his inspiration from mm -hmm. because we could see that he was very, very particular about, you know, love and God. And I'm just wondering, is are you are you basically just um, channeled towards matters gospel uh, form of genre or what else gives you um, inspiration? Well, my inspiration comes uh, from within myself so mm -hmm. I, because I love. Okay, in as much as I, I view other works from other people, and I say I challenge myself. It's like a challenge to me. So I use I ask myself, Kolo. Uh, I call myself Kanal in terms of spoken word. Mm -hmm. So Kanal. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So once I try, once I try, I will I will always 
have something let's say be like yeah ingekuwa normal ningeandika hivi but at least naziandika hivi and matters of uh, the, the, the the genres genre, yeah. uh, i don't specify it as in gospel peke yake i do every form okay niko niko crime ndan mm. ndongelea kuhusu vile vijana tuko pale kwa 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 store uh-huh. ndongelea kuhusu now the love love sasa ya mpoa ndongelea <laughs> <laughs> kuhusu mpoa ndongelea mm-hmm. kuhusu vile 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 church iko mm-hmm. vile politics iko yeah. yeah na pia uh-huh. like the way dani because it, it expresses a lot of feelings because uh-huh. naweza andika vile youth wanataka uh-huh. wasikike huko juu mm-hmm. because through 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 uh, usani ni kio cha jamii so usani ukishafanya uh-huh. yes unaifanya ikiwa wewe but in return in kwa inarudi kwa inarudi kwa, inarudi kwa uh, the jamii yani uh-huh. the society inarudi uh-huh. kuja huko mbele at least uh-huh. wale wanataka ku bridge unasikia yenyewe jamaa anasema hivi uh-huh. anataka ifanyike hivi uh-huh. yeah all right and uh, before we like we move on Uh, I, I have a very quick uh, question to you because I remember uh, Amy mentioned about uh, singing as part of her releasing that stress, you know, uh, calming her down. And I know when it comes to uh, the age group of the youth, exactly. Uh, so uh, when you take a look on the social media, it can either build you or it can either break you. So uh, what do you think uh, uh, maybe some other staffs, maybe youth can be engaging themselves apart from the spoken word and then... Uh, we have singing and we have of course artistic you know <laughs> from our very able uh, david there uh, what are some other uh, maybe things uh, or stuff maybe youth can engage themselves to relieve stress because when it comes to mental health youths are suffering these are people who are maybe looking for jobs these are people who are looking uh, you know they're doing their studies and you know their project and all that like you talked about mwali mama the apple so uh, what advice do you have for those young people looking even to venture to different parts of their talents what i'd love to say is that whatever you feel you can do just step up do it definitely you'll have those people who people who will support you even your friends will we will not support you mm-hmm. but you'll find that other people do support you when i started uh, i had i had a friend who said uh, kolo unaweza piga ngoma piga ngoma rap mm-hmm. rap mm-hmm. but at the same time i cannot rap mm-hmm. no no uh, now kuna ule sasa because utapata uh, atakwambia no you will not you cannot do this you cannot do it this way but you can do it the other way that is why unaweza uh, pata if you have something ifanye then utapata ule it, it will be easier for you at least ukigaidiwa unaambiwa eh hey, at least hii ukijaribu kuifanya unaizefanya hivi okay. so ukifeel haiwezi or, or from you because not every preference will be best suited with you so it will be easy for you to now try because for you to be help you have to help yourself so It, it will be easier for you kujua ni nini una ni respect gani utajaribu kui 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 fix okay yeah all right mhm like we're in seeing um dev palevo me eh ni kama his tools are down eh? it means he's ready mm-hmm. and uh, i don't know whether maybe before he showcases out us what he has drawn mm-hmm. maybe you can just take us through your your idea process maybe how you process your idea how it comes about what is your inspiration how and how you actually get to the point of implementing and executing the ideas that you have well when it comes to art you can meet it from different directions mm-hmm. because uh, say if somebody wants you to make an artwork they usually want something specific but now when we are talking about ukona stress and all that you know you want to do it to free your mind and all that there you are you are really free and mm-hmm. it really helps you relax but you are free no one is telling you what to do you just draw what you feel mm-hmm. what you feel like mm-hmm. but now when it comes now on the side of work uh you have to be specific so you put your emotions aside put your feelings aside and focus on exactly what you're being told so when it comes to art uh, i remember when i was in it was like a few weeks to kcse mm-hmm. that's when we got 
we got a call from the first lady in the school where I was. I was in Nairobi school. Okay. And uh, she had this project during the uh, climate climate summit, mm -hmm. which was at KICC. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they wanted a uh, a name and a logo mm -hmm. for their program, and so they turned it into a competition for high school students and other students and mm -hmm. so on. So I mean, I knew I, I had exams coming. But then now when, during that time, ukifungwa kitabu, you are like, hi, <laughs> adia So, so it also takes sacrifice and pushing yourself because I had to do research and I didn't have social media and all that, no newspaper. So you just look at the, the question, um, uh, what they want, the way it's set, and you start brainstorming. So like for art, if you want to make an actual piece or a design, you have to start with sketches. Mm -hmm. So ile ID ina kam, una yeka yeka tu hivi, mm -hmm. una yeka ingine kama kumi hivi. Then now you hand pick zile zene unona zikona potential. Mm -hmm. okay. Once you've done that, you actually make a sample of them. Mm -hmm. Then you ask someone mwenye adia yuko interested na art. Ama ule jimuna juo huyo hata kupatia honest remarks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> eh, <Yeah>. Mwengine hata kwa <laughs> anajaribu ku protect your feelings. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so you just go to a random person mm -hmm. then you tell them kwa hizi unona gani ndi mm -hmm. Then they'll tell you and then now you'll have to think about it and see if there's something you can add or reduce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what I did. I actually for three days of exam preparation, me that's what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And I mean, as we said, God works in mysterious ways. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can say I'm the proud owner, the designer of wow. the logo of Flama. Wow. Yeah. wow. So, okay. I mean, it's all about pushing yourself, taking one step at a time. And also, when we come to matters talent, people will say at the oh, I mean, I don't know what my talent is. You know, you never know till you try. Because if I'm to say, for me, my journey at, as an artist, I started when I was a small boy, you know, chora stick man. You know, chora ile, ile gari ya one, two, three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then, it's more of practice. The more you do it, because when I was at school, people come and ask me, by the way, sasa, me, I want to become like you. Sasa, nafanya aje. Mwambia, nini unapenda? Maybe ataniambia gari. Ampatia picha gari. Na mwambia, chora igari, na wichore vibaya. Alafu na mwambia, repeat that. Mm -hmm. Adi wipate correct. Because mm -hmm. that's how it is. I mean, kolo, tuseme wewe, sindio. Inge kuliandika tu mara kwanza, then ukakaa mwaka moja, then ukaandika, sayu inge kuwa nowhere. Yeah. But ilu unandika kwanza, because I bet if you are to listen to your first spoken word that you did, ile ya kwanza kabisa, you'll be like, so I mean it's <laughs> the continuity and also trying to find out Nini Nakubamba because maybe you can say since oh Devia Misema Tio Nikujaribu you first of all ask yourself, do I like is it in me? Am I drawn to painting or something? Yeah. Then now you start trying. And then mm -hmm. you come to know yourself as you keep doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So awesome. that's for me. Okay, awesome. Yes. I don't know if Collins, uh, you have something to tell to Anani David before we do the reveal of whatever he has been doing. Because I know we have around like five minutes to wrap up the show. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. And the more you try, the more consistent you are, uh, the more you mm -hmm. grow. So. Uh, because I, I think of different I, I think of different different uh, topics different uh, things to talk about when I when I write uh, the spoken word so unapata nikiandika nitakuja maybe in like after after 30 minutes na ngaleta kitu kingine tofauti okay so it will be easier for me at least when when I'm trying to work on a specific thing and you at least uh as a major all these ideas as na kuja kitu ingine poor okay uh, for, for, for my brother uh, i can say it's it's a, it's an amazing uh, at, uh, talent mm -hmm. Thank you. At, at at a point tunapata nga unapota umeluza somebody who is special to you mm -hmm. but unataka maybe kama drawing you unaweza kwa wall 
Naona. So nakuja ona eh mwanzo huu jamaa wangu alipass but eh, eh nataka picha yake at least nikika chini nikimeditate na kuna mkumbuka the happy moments tumekuwa na yeye. Yeah. So it's it's something very unique by okay. the way. It's mm-hmm. very All right. nice. All right. And, uh, also for my sister here. Yeah, Amy. Tunajua umetegea sana kwa Amy. We know. We know. I, I think we need uh, maybe cold water too. <laughs> <laughs> I bet so. Yeah, uh-huh. f- f- for singing. Mm-hmm. For singing is, is something nice because when you listen to something melodious, you, you just they're like Mhm. Stress in English. Stress in English. Ani ko po. Yeah. It's also a nice talent and uh kudos. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, still on Amy. I think you can maybe tell us do you have like future, you know, aspiration that you need to begin your solo, you know, and write your own music and uh, we look forward to listening and playing your songs. What do you have in future? Um Right now not really on uh-huh. the music area. Mm-hmm. Saying in Nigeria we grow career ways the profession way. Okay. <laughs> you, you you know how to balance yourself. Yes. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Uh-huh. So the music I think I'm hoping actually then down the line I'll actually pursue it. You know it's nice to actually use your talent. So sure. But as of now not mm-hmm. really. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Know, I can just ask uh, I can just ask Kolova here if he has any artist any spoken word artist that he would love to maybe collab with in the future. <laughs> there are none. <laughs> 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 you know but uh, collabo collabo eh ziko ziko okay mm. <laughs> uh-huh. mm. my, 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 my very big man time you know mm-hmm. eh kapedo okay eh mufasa mm-hmm. eh kawa kan because mm. uh, na feeling to kishaji grow kutoka hapa chini it's it's easier for us to also to do it at the top level mm-hmm. naona uh-huh. tusikwe tunafanya tu kama ama an upcoming na ndo kutafuta mwao huko juu ile hapa chini atuwezi atuwezi fanya mm-hmm. so uh tunaanzia ngapi hapa chini tuna grow juu pole pole zikikuja yeah. saa zikosekana pia saa <laughs> tunamshukuru Mungu bado yeah. okay and uh, before my give you say something i i know you you curious also to to see <laughs> so what uh, uh david did there uh, we have another comment from grace ashiko i'm watching you guys are so amazing yeah Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. oh, we've been waiting. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> so, <laughs> take us through. Okay. Take us through. Uh, I mean as the show started, mm-hmm. you guys made it very easy for me to know what I'll do at the end. Okay. Oh, I mean, okay. you said you hope it's something to do with Valentine's. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you said okay. you hope it's something to do with Lent. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So the way they are arranged like this, okay. those are the themes. So I think I'll start with you. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah. Open your eyes and then you can. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my so gosh. This is so beautiful. I think you can be able to show yeah. to our viewers what he has drawn. Wow. Happy I think this is the first happy Valentine's. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting. I'm Are you getting. getting? <laughs> wow, this is so beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And also for you. Close your eyes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. I mean I can reveal. Yeah, that's very pretty. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Guys. The <laughs> ratings. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very beautiful. I think we're going to keep too. this in our too. offices. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, it's very pretty. And maybe as they see, maybe they can, you can just advise the youth what advice do you have for those youths who have talent out there they're afraid of maybe um coming out to their talents they're afraid of joining groups that will actually support their talent what advice do you have for them well for me i just tell them to stop listening to what people say mm-hmm. that's the noises. the noise yeah mm-hmm. once you start listening to what you think about what you're doing now that's the voice you're listening to yourself mm-hmm. so it means you just they they take step at a time you know you can't just at oh one day you are sleeping tomorrow you are all good your talent everyone likes it obviously there'll be people who will not like it mm-hmm. but then if you like it you put it out there mm-hmm. those who like it they'll gather mm-hmm. and 
the, as I say, it's um, how can I say it now? <laughs> uh, for people who, if you are going the talent direction, mm -hmm. uh, I say you really feel proud when you earn from something you can do for free. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just did it for free. For sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. <laughs> but then again, there's, 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 it will come to a point, you just make something for someone and they're like, no, I can't have this for free. Mm -hmm. So you just keep building yourself. And one thing for sure is that people will notice. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, but you have to take the first step. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, and uh, I know our time is almost up, and uh, I can see my director is just, uh, you know, you have to wind up. So I think we can start with Amy. Uh, you mm -hmm. say your parting shot, what you'd love to tell our viewers and those people who are looking up to you. And where we can get them on social media. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, first of all, uh, I'm really happy to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Welcome. It has been a really nice opportunity to meet actually my other talented friends here. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd like to encourage the youth to just come to church. <laughs> Incorporate yourself with the, the other youth. And also, uh, want you want, want to discover your talent. It's really nice having something you can do. Kia said for free, uh -huh. <laughs> but also earn from it. Mm -hmm. So yes, uh, and uh, you can find me on is Instagram. My handle is amata underscore 18. Thank okay. you. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, here's Collins. Uh, my parting shot will be a verse that uh, uh, from my spoken word, into Tosha. So do good, be wise, seek advice, like we to face the music on be a ton of stage fright because we got the moves. So uh, as a youth, uh kill on feel okay feel you 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 are in line with singing piga. Do, do do background sounds, uh, do verses, do from the from other songs that have already been sung. Uh, just try. Just try, keep on trying and do something. Uh -huh. uh, okay, for more, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> you can follow me on uh, in Instagram, uh, uh -huh. IG at Kanali uh, underscore Kolo, uh -huh. on X, formerly Twitter, as Kanali underscore Kolo, on Facebook as Collins Amenya. Uh, pay me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, oh, oh, yeah. right. uh -huh. mm -hmm. And lastly, but not least, your word, David? Uh, for me, you can find me on Instagram at Saint underscore Sherry. Uh -huh. Same applies to TikTok and uh -huh. <laughs> YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You totally look like a saint, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you guys have realized that. <laughs> so, Maggie, your final word as uh, we wind up, uh, I'm sure. Uh, Amy, you have something to uh, sing to our viewers as we wind up? Definitely. Yeah, Maggie? Yeah, for sure. Thank you so much for watching. Keep it firmly faith. Thank you so much to our guests for coming. It was a pleasure hosting you. And uh, for our viewers, this show will be airing every Wednesday, mm -hmm. um, 2 to 3, and then there will be a repeat show at 7 p.m. So mm -hmm. keep it locked, Capuchin TV, firmly faith. Exactly. I don't even know if I have anything to suggest to say <laughs> thank you to all of you for making time. I've learned a lot because uh, actually from uh, David, it reminds me of how uh, I was very young. Mm -hmm. Actually, I used to love drawing, but now I don't know what happened to that talent. <laughs> Why did I'll you I'll find stop? out. I'll find out <laughs> after this. So thank you so much, guys, and to all our viewers, thank you so much. Collins, I uh, do you have maybe a, uh, a shorter freestyle as we go to we move to uh, Amy. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then after okay. your freestyle, we'll have uh, Amy, uh, who is going to close our show today. Mm -hmm. And may God bless you all, and wishing you the very best in your endeavors. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So wherever you are, whether it's mama, mama, make it chin, you make kill your chin, keep it locked to capuchin. Whether you go nyumba, apa Kenya, you keep gajwa kali. Ama koko maju mayolo, ukipigwa na baridi, tafute joto kwa chimni, and keep it firm, be faith.
Okay. As I turn up the collar on my favorite winter coat, this wind is blowing my mind. I see the kids in the streets with not enough to eat. Who am I to be blind, pretending not to see their needs? A summer's disregard, a broken bottle top, and a one man soul. They follow each other on the wind, you know. Cause they've got nowhere to go. That's why I want you to know. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. And no message could have been any clearer. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and then make a change. Yeah, hey. Na 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 na. Yeah, yeah. I've been a victim of a selfish kind of love. I think it's time I realized that there are some with no home and not a nickel to loan. Could it be really me pretending that they're not alone? Our summer's disregard, somebody's broken heart, and a washed out dream. They follow each other on the wind, you see. Cause they've got no place to be. That's why I want you to know. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. And no message could have been any clearer. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and then make a change. Yeah. Na 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 na. Okay. Yo, 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 what's up, my guys? Jenny was say the wait is finally over. Yeah, and Capuchin TV brings you exciting news for the youth this year 2024 with a youth program called Form Ni Faith. <laughs> In this particular program, we will be bringing you Bible trivias. We have discussions. We have talent show for those ones who love to showcase their talents, like singing. I do what I can, what I can, what I can for my people. People in Atesaka. Modeling. Oral narratives. Spoken words. Hey, stop talking while I'm talking. Nataka could you express at least me to stress? Even if I can smile, it's only for a while. Yesu anakudai, that's why he accepted to die on the cross to remove your die, lemma and to give you a new die, reaction. Catches on every Wednesday from 2 to 3 p.m. only at Capuchin TV. You can also get the repeaters every Wednesday from 7 p.m. again only on Capuchin TV. And remember, if you would love us to come and cover your event, you can contact us on 0717-424-866. Form new faith with your favorite host, Maureen Kimani. And I, Maggie Maina. Come, come all to enjoy in Christ. Christ.
hay dos palabras que cuando algunos hablan de enfermedades terminales las confunden. Incurable e incuidable. Y no son lo mismo. Incluso cuando existan muy pocas posibilidades de curación, todos los enfermos tienen derecho al acompañamiento médico, al acompañamiento psicológico, al acompañamiento espiritual, al acompañamiento humano. A veces no pueden hablar, a veces pensamos que no nos conocen, pero si le tomamos la mano, entendemos que están en sintonía. No siempre se consigue la curación, pero siempre podemos cuidar al enfermo, acariciar al enfermo. San Juan Pablo II decía que curar si es posible, cuidar siempre. Y aquí es donde entran los cuidados paliativos que garantizan al paciente no solo la atención médica, sino también un acompañamiento humano y cercano. La familia no pueden quedarse solas en esos momentos difíciles. Su papel es decisivo. Tienen que tener los medios adecuados para desarrollar el apoyo físico, el apoyo espiritual, el apoyo social. Oremos para que los enfermos terminales y sus familias reciban siempre los cuidados y el acompañamiento necesarios, tanto desde el punto de vista médico como humano. Kristu wa Jimbo Katoliki la Nakuru. Tumsifu Yesu Kristu. Wito wa familia. Wito wa baba na mama. Waumini kutoka Jimbo Katoliki la Nakuru, mnaoishi kwenye Jimbo la Nairobi na vitongoji vyake, baba yenu wa kiroho, Mhashamu Cleophas Oseso Tuka, anawaalika kwa misa ya shukrani itakayofanyika katika Basilika ya Familia Takatifu au Holy Family Basilica liloko kwenye Jimbo Kuu Katoliki la Nairobi ni Jumamosi tarehe 24 mwezi wa pili mwaka huu kuanzia saa tano mchana kutakuwa na mkutano maalum baada ya ibada hii takatifu ya misa ibada hii itakufikia moja kwa moja hapa kwenye kitambulisho chako Katoliki Kapuchin TV na kwenye mitandao yetu ya kijamii karibu mwashamu baba askofu Cleophas Oseso kwenye Jimbo Kuu Katoliki la Nairobi The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Luke chapter 10 verse 2 On Saturday, February 10th, Capuchin TV will join hands in unity with the faithful of Kitale Diocese for the priestly ordination of the following individuals. Deacon Anthony Sifuna Wanyonyi from St. Peter's Kaplamai Parish. Deacon Daniel Simiyu Matara from St. Peter's Clevers Kiminini Parish. Deacon James Omasete Oswana from Cathedral Parish of Immaculate Conception and Deacon Emmanuel of Comboni Missionaries from Our Lady of Assumption Makutano Parish. 
The Holy Mass will take place at St. Joseph's Pavilion and will be presided over by His Excellency Archbishop Bart Van Megan, commencing at 10 a.m. The significant event will be broadcasted live on Capuchin TV and across its various social media platforms. Capuchin TV extends heartfelt congratulations to the Catholic Diocese of Kitale for achieving this remarkable milestone. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity channel. Capuchin TV is thrilled to join the Donum Day Sisters for a momentous occasion on Thursday, February 22nd of this year, as they express gratitude to God for 30 years of their presence in Kenya and celebrate the opening and blessing of the new building during the 40th anniversary of their founder, Father Marcel Roselle Gala. The Holy Mass will be presided over by His Grace Philip Agnolo, Archbishop of Nairobi, commencing at 10 a.m. at the Donum Day Roselle House in Karen. This significant event will be brought to you live on Capuchin TV and across its various social media platforms. Capuchin TV congratulates the Donum Day Sisters for this great achievement. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity channel. Nia yetu ni kufanya vema sio tu mbele ya Bwana bali pia mbele ya watu. Wakorintho wa pili sura ya nane, aya ya moja. Kwa resma ni msimu wa kipekee kwa Wakristo wa Katoliki kutafakari, kusali, kufunga, kutubu na kuwa wafadhili kupitia matendo ya huruma. Kipindi hiki cha siku ya rubaini huanza Jumatano ya majivu na kukamilika siku ya Alhamisi kuu. Idara ya Kikatoliki ya Haki na Amani CJPD chini ya mwavuli wa baraza la maaskofu wa Katoliki nchini KCCB inawalika nyote katika hafla ya uzinduzi rasmi wa kampeni ya Kwaresma ya mwaka huu wa 2024. Uzinduzi huu utaandaliwa siku ya Ijumaa tarehe kenda mwezi Februari katika katedrali ya Mtakatifu Petero na Paulo Jimbo Katoliki la Embu. Kauli mbiu ya mwaka huu uadilifu kwa taifa lenye haki ikiyati utumiaji wa uadilifu kuweka misingi thabiti ya haki nchini Kenya. Ibada hii itakufikia hapa Kapuchin TV na kwa redio ya Kimore FM mitambo ya 100.6 kwenye jimbo katoliki la embu na vitongoji vyake. Mungu wetu mwenye huruma huwa nasi kila mara akituonyesha upendo wa milele kupitia kwa upatanisho wa watu binafsi na wengine na vyote alivyoviumba. Tukiwa kanisa katoliki huu ni msimu maalum unaotukumbusha kwamba maisha yetu duniani katu sio ya milele. Lakini mtapokea nguvu Akisha kuwajilia juu yenu roho mtakatifu nanyi mtakuwa mashahidi wangu mtawahubiri watu kunihusu mimi kila mahali 
katika mji wa Yerusalemu katika nchi yote ya Yudea na Samaria na hata misho ya dunia. Matendo ya Mitume sura ya kwanza, aya ya nane. Taifa lenye haki hujengwa na watu waadilifu. Endelea kutazama runinga ya Capuchin kitambulisho katoliki. Sisi wa missionary wa shangao wa kikatoliki.